welcome back. So I have a swatch video coming at you for the new ColourPop Glossy Ultra Glossy Lips. There are 21 shades, so I have all of them here, and there's a little drawer under here that has a bunch more. And I just thought it would be cool to do a swatch video. You guys know I am always good for a good old lip swatching video. I like to put my lips through the ringer every time a new collection comes out because I think that seeing hand swatches and lip swatches is the most beneficial. That's the kind of videos I like to watch. So uh, I figured you guys would appreciate it as well. Now if you're fair complected, obviously this is probably a more helpful video for you trying to determine which ones you're going to want to purchase based off of my complexion, but hopefully it will just give you an idea. Also that's why I will be swatching them on the hand. I guess sometimes people ask me to tell you what foundation I wear in MAC just to kind of give a, a clear view and I'm like an NC20. So. 18 or 20. So that is the fairness of my skin. So take that for what it's worth. Now these are the newest edition. They have the ultra matte lips, the ultra satin lips, and now the ultra glossy lips. So I'm super excited about lip glosses. These are very cushiony. Um, they feel extremely comfortable. These are releasing today on the ColourPop website. And there are, like I said, 21 shades. I'm sure they're going to be adding additional shades here and there. They have several different finishes. They have sheer cream or creme formula, um, metallic, and ultra metallic. So I think they have a sheer metallic and ultra metallic. So within those finishes, there's a variety of different fun shade ranges. They have some greens and a gray one, which I'm really excited about because I just think those are fun colors. The one thing I wanted to say about these glosses are I did just receive them, so I haven't been able to put them to a full day's wear. But I have worn, worn them for a good four hours since I, I put one on as soon as I got them. And they wear a, a pretty decent amount of time for a gloss. Now, with all glosses, you're just going to have to assume that they, the shine goes away when you are eating and drinking. Um, so that is the case with these. It, it sort of stayed on and was... These are very cushiony, they're not sticky at all, and they have no scent to them. So I'm actually someone who prefers a scent. I wish that they would have added a little bit of a scent to it. But a lot of people don't like a scent, so it's it, some people don't like a mint scent, some people don't like a vanilla scent, so maybe they're just trying to be safe. Um, but I hope in the future that they do actually consider adding a scent to them. That, that's the like one improvement that I think that they could make because um, I'm not going to lie to you, even when a gloss, like, is a great formula. I don't gravitate towards it if it doesn't have a scent. So that's a weird thing about me, I guess. I'm like a big, huge smell person. Like I won't use something if it smells disgusting. So there's that. Um, but the formula is extremely comfortable. It's not tacky. It's very like very cushiony on the lips. Very um, nice, hydrating. Doesn't dry your lips out at all. And like I said, it doesn't necessarily wear away. It has that great formula for being able to stay on the lips but not being too kind of goopy and tacky. So I think a lot of people are going to really like this formula and it's affordable. I'm assuming these are going to be about $6. They're either going to be 5 or $6. Typically that is the pricing on the glossy lips. So I'm just going to do a quick scroll of the colors. We're going to do a little try on. And if you're interested in seeing how these look on the lips, then it's coming at ya. So starting all of these off, we're going to start with Fairy Floss. This is a sheer finish. This is one of the lightest nude shades in the bunch. I really like this one. It's a pinky nude. It, as you can see, it's sheer, but it's almost like a cream sheer. Then there is Tight Fit, which is metallic. And it's like a metallic inside of a sheer finish lip gloss. I really love the way that looks on the lips. Then we have WeHo, which I think stands for West Hollywood. This is the cream or creme finishes. Cream or creme, I'm not sure how you say them. Um, and I really like this one, it's like more of a brownie nude. And then we have My Jam, which is another one of the metallics, gorgeous. This one ha um, is a little bit more metallic and it also has a little bit more of a sheer finish. And then we're moving on to this next shade, which is called Bestie. And I think this is going to be a lot of people's Bestie or like favorite shade in the bunch. It's just a really easy, wearable, neutral, pinky peach shade. 
and the cream formula is really nice very pigmented and they feel so comfortable on the lips this color is called Abu which is a sheer finish and it's a little bit more of a peachy nude shade a little bit more than the first fairy gloss one this one's piranha and it's more of like a baby pink sheer shade like I said all of these kind of go into the lips really nicely they don't leave that ring around your lips they like blend in really nicely and I love how each of them kind of shears out on the lips this one is thoughtful um, spelled very thoughty <laughs> this is a sheer finish as well and it's a little bit more of a lilac shade and moving on to a little even more of a lilac shade this one has even more purple in it this one is Catalina it's also a sheer finish and I really love this one I it has more pink in it than I thought it would when you apply it to the lips um, but very very pretty a great way to wear a purple if you're looking for that this one is finders keepers and it's a cream finish and it's a very beautiful dusty mauve shade I love this one it's it's like a mauvey purplish but um, the, like I said the cream formula is very nice and full coverage or pigmented this is Wolfie and this metallic has a whole lot more pigment to it and the brush is fluffier on the metallic shades I know that's weird but like the brush on all the metallic shades is a little bit more of a plush brush if you will but I really like this color it only has like a rose gold metallicness to it this is master plan and it's a cream formula and it's more of a purple kind of like a dusty purple as well but a little bit more purple than the mauve shade um, and I love this one and again the cream formula I think that's one of my favorites the cream formula even though I do like the shears as well and the tongues I like them all I really do Honeybee is a cream formula. This is more of a hot pinkish shade or a really pretty fuchsia y shade. It's uh, nice and, like I said, it's very pigmented. Goes on really nicely. I added in me applying them to my lips in this video. Let me know if you guys like seeing that. I didn't know if it was redundant or what. This one is Casino and it's a sheer finish and it's almost like a reddish, sort of like a reddish berry shade. Uh, I really like the way it looks on the lips. This is a great one for someone if they're looking to have a little bit of color to their lips, but they don't like straight pigment. This would be a great one for them. Tokyo Tea is a cream finish, and it's a great corally color. I loved this one on the lips. This was one of my favorites um, of the bunch. Well, the next couple are some of my favorites because I really like those orangey shades, especially even now coming into... Well, not coming in the summer. It's like dead of summer. What am I even talking about? <laughs> this one's tarot and it is a cream finish. Again, because it's summertime, I love this shade. I ended up wearing it at the very end of this video because it was like one of my faves. And I felt like it didn't make my teeth look yellow, so that's a, that's a bonus. This is Saddle Up and it's a sheer. And honestly, this if I had to pick one that I just didn't love, it was this one. It was not pigmented enough to really make sense to me. So it's just like a nice peachy shade, but I don't know. I would pass on that one if it were me. This is Cheat Code. It's a very interesting, like, copper metallic shade. I loved this one because it was, I think, coming into fall, that's going to be a gorgeous color. I just thought it was interesting, and I don't have anything like it. And this one is Dropout. It is a sheer shade. It almost applied. I thought it was going to be more of a burgundy, but it applied a little bit more of a berry tone um, on the lips. I really liked this one, though. And then now we're going to be getting into a few of the interesting colors, which I love. This one is Crystal Ball. It is a metallic green shade. I love this one. Uh, I applied it, and it looks like it's, it's very pigmented. But I didn't really get the inner part of my lips as well. Next time if I was going to wear this for reals, for reals, I would get the inner part of my lips. And then we have Fluff, which is a super interesting gray shade. This is a cream formula. Uh, it's very, very pigmented. And, I mean, how fun is that? So there we have all 21 shades. So those are all 21 shades of the lip glosses. Here's what I learned while trying them on. 
Some of the metallics, I will point them out when I, I'm going to do a talk through in the swatches, so you'll hear me talking already. But some of those metallics were a little bit more sheer metallics, and some of them were more full coverage. All of the creme or cream finish were completely full coverage, had really nice pigmentation to them. Um, a couple of the metallics, like the green and the coppery one, those also, are the, I think it's called cheat code, those had very full pigmentation. Wolfy also was a metallic one that had a lot of pigmentation to it. It wasn't really just like a sheer gloss like, like uh, Tight Fit was. Tight Fit was more of a metallic and there some of the glitters were left behind. This is more of like a metallic in a sheer gloss formula. I loved it on the lips. Extremely comfortable. All of them, you can't feel the glitters or anything in them. And the sheer colors were nice, perfect for someone who's looking to either top or wanting a little color on their lips. I personally like a sheer formula in some of those lighter colors. And then what, the one thing I did like about them, that even though they have the cream formula, it doesn't leave that like really weird ring that some extremely pigmented lip glosses do leave. It's, it's almost like meshes to your lips and it doesn't really leave that weird ring. It blends in really nicely. Like when you rub your lips together, it kind of moves around really nicely and isn't so pigmented that it kind of pulls apart if on your lips, if you know what I mean. So uh, really do like these. Uh, I think they're going to be a big hit with a lot of people because I think they really hit the nail on the head with the formula. I came out with a lot of great, fun colors and then some really nice and wearable shades as well. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful when you're determining maybe some of the colors that you might want to pick up for the collection or just kind of checking out and seeing what they came out with. So leave me down below some of your favorites and I went ahead and put the orange shade on right now this one is called tarot so uh, like tarot cards so that's the shade that I went ahead and put on just because I really like this this shade this is a really pretty orangey red shade and uh, it's very summery so hopefully you guys enjoyed that again leave some of your favorites down below that you saw and I will see you all in the next video Mwah.